it's Hathor the trainer. I hope you're ready to move. I'm here at Crowbar and today we're going to go over resistance training and why you should give it a try. If you're only committed to running or cycling or walking, because that's an awesome exercise as well, you want to throw in resistance training or strength training if you're looking to get stronger or build definition. Resistance training is the only way to actually make your muscles stronger as well as get definition. So if definition is your goal, you're definitely going to have to throw some resistance training into your routine. First things first, there are all kinds of ways that you can do resistance training. First, we have the resistance band. This is my favorite. People always ask me how I get my arms, and this is the answer, my friends. And you can get these anywhere. They're relatively cheap. So I'll demonstrate from the side. Slight bend in your knees, shoulders relax, and you want to pull and bring it down. Now, most people think that your bicep curl comes from the fold in your elbow, but it actually doesn't. You want to think of your shoulder as a pulley, and you actually want to pull from your deltoids, which are these guys, and control it up and down, right? Because in real life, we want to do that. Control it up and control it down. Moving on, next, we have a medicine ball. This is a big medicine ball. They come in smaller sizes. We're gonna do some core with medicine balls because I wanna show you different ways that you can apply resistance training. Laying on your back, ball goes above your head. On the exhale, I want you to bring your belly button into your spine, lift your leg, and lower all the way down. We're gonna alternate, so we'll do it again on the other side. Now, if that's a little bit too much for you, you can always bend your knee and go for your toe. So there are always options. And body weight resistance is also an option. So if the ball does not work, you can simply use your body as resistance. Next, we have kettlebells. Okay, we are gonna do a twofer for this. Lower back and hamstrings. Going for deadlifts. Notice that my back is straight, it's not here. Okay, the goal is to go down as low as you can without rounding out your back. Hips back, you're gonna come all the way down until you feel the stretch in your hamstrings and then pull up using your lower back. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself, you can also do one leg deadlifts. All right, and last but not least, we have the body bar. So you wanna flip it, bring it up. These are my favorite side bends for your obliques. Hips a little wider than hip width apart, toes turned out, squat, and take it side to side. Making sure that your body is nice and square. Pulling up with your obliques. This is a good stretch and strengthener. All righty, you'll be ripped in no time. I'll see you next Monday.